We have already established how Devasov sound intensity plugin can be used for noise source location. Let's now have a look at another important application. Obtaining sound power through sound intensity measurement. Sound intensity is a flow of energy and it is possible to indirectly measure the sound power of the sound source by measuring the total energy flow from the sound source outwards in all directions. The pressure-based sound power determination methods require a controlled measurement environment that is either an anechoic or reverberation room. Sound intensity can be used for sound power measurements of any source, but is especially convenient when sound source must be measured in situ or it's very large and cannot be moved into a measurement room. Examples of such sources are distribution transformers, large air conditioning systems, large ventilation systems and many other applications. By mapping partial sound power on a grid, one can also find out which part of the larger machine contributes most to the overall sound power. Sound power determination methods are sta standardized in international standards ISO 9614-1 and 2. Let's take a look at sound power measurement according to ISO 9614-1, which describes a point method. Measuring surface is divided up the side into small segments and sound intensity is measured in each segment. The measurement surface is not constrained, but most commonly simple measurement surface is used, such as parallel pipette. Each face of the parallel pipette is divided into smaller segments and the center of each segment sound intensity is measured. The total sound power is calculated as a sum of partial sound power values. Any sound source, large or small, can be measured this way, but it must be stationary and operate with the same sound power between successive segment measurements. The sound power measurement method based on sound intensity is robust to background noise. That is the noise which is not originating from the sound source which is being measured. The image shows the sound intensity through the measurement surface for the source inside the measurement surface and outside the measurement surface. The partial sound power contributions are positive on whole measurement surface when the sound source is inside. If the sound source is outside, the partial sound power contribution on one side of the surface are positive and on the other they are negative. Therefore, net contribution to the total sound power of the outside source equals zero. For faster measurements, especially coming handy when measuring larger devices, scanning method according to ISO 9614-2 can be used. It is, however, important to note that for more accurate results, segmentation method with point measurements is the preferred procedure.